Hey, y'all. What percentage of modern women are marriage material? Okay, so in my opinion, the percentages are low because so many men have been taught that they have more value than women. And the women, okay, my age, we've seen women who were, who get to a certain age and they go get a younger woman or they've stayed in a relationship and they've been beat on. It's not necessarily what happened to us individually, but we, what we've seen in the past. And usually the dominant person that's in control is their way or no way. And you think to yourself, excuse me, you only live once. So why does this person get the meal catered to him, wants to be sucked on, and you do all the housework, do all the cooking, treat him like a king, plus you got to go help pay half the bills. That would be nice. I think that's why some women are going to other women so they can get that treatment. Because think about it. Somebody cooking your meals, washing your clothes, cleaning the house. <laughs> Want to be treated like a king, but they not paying all of the mortgage. So the roles have been reversed out of necessity for us. Because what? They've been putting the men in, the, in jails, killing the men, and then... It's 15 women to one man, they say. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, even if he don't have a job, don't work, He some the mentality of the Xbox boy, you have your own house, I got somewhere to put my Xbox, but when I get mad at you, I'm going to go over to somebody else's house with my Xbox. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, the percentages are low, because of the way society is nowadays. The woman had to be strong because they were only giving us the jobs. And then you start having compassion for the men because they are in the weed society or uh, the Xbox society, can't get the jobs to saying no to. So they start doing the little street hustles to survive. Not all of them, but some of them who with that mentality and it's nothing to choose from. Whereas you go to work every day, you work a double, trying to get extra money. Then you get the house, you get the cars, you get what you need, but you don't have a partner. So that puts you in a dominant role. You are basically head of household, but somebody wants to come pretend they head a household. How is that going to work? How could that possibly work? Somebody pretending that they are head of household after you done paid, went home, you done went to work, got all the money, but you want to be in your submissive roles. And that's what I have a problem with, with society telling men, oh, he a man, he could do whatever he want to do. That doesn't fly. There's a prison full of women that that didn't fly for. And you have to know who you are. So for me, I knew who I, who I was way back in the day when I seen the burning bed. When that man tried to beat on that woman. I mean, you only live once. And when you get with somebody, the stronger person think he dominate everything. He rule the roost. You know what I'm saying? And it was so long ago, but I, can't, I think the man was drinking and he was this and he was that. And then he got jealous of his brother and the lady was i probably like impressed with the other guy and he was beating on her and anyway she did him in his sleep but i was like yeah get him that's how that's who i knew i was if you watch a movie or or a situation and whoever you're rooting for that's who you are to your core and you should know who you are to your core that's what i think you should know who you are to your core before you get in a relationship. Now, for me, getting in relationships, I have seen, uh, I want to go on dates. I want to eat. You see how big I am. I want to go eat. 
I want to go to the movies. I want to do this. And I don't want to have to beg nobody for the position because I'll end up going to the dinner and the movies by myself. Then I, not to tell too much of my business, but I've seen, um, I don't want to tell too much of my business, but the stronger person rules. I'm talking about stronger as in body strength. And he thinks, you know what I'm saying? The man rules, but I don't see a situation. I don't see having to have a man that thinks he can do whatever he wants because society says, oh, he a man. You not a man if you in somebody else's house trying to do what you want to do. You you ain't no man. You ain't gonna be driving nobody car, living in their house, and think you can be a man. What they do that at? And then you have so so that that leads to a strong woman. It's not like she's strong because uh, she want to be a man. She's strong because. She don't want to be homeless. Like, we, we can't be broke. You know what I'm saying? She don't want to be homeless. So, if you don't want to be homeless, you got to go to work. You got to pay your bills. You know what I'm saying? And I've heard of some women who will, you know, go make the money and turn it over. And he don't do the right things with the money. So, I think the woman should have her own wallet, her own bank account. Because what if the person messes up and start doing drugs and all this and that stuff? And then, they, then they, they mess you up. So I think every individual needs to have their own these days. And I think 99.99% .99 of the women agree. Because it is a... You got people on the street asking these questions like, what's going on with the women? What's going on with the men? Don't nobody want to do this and that? Because we... Back in the day when men were, uh, I'm gonna go say, uh, in the fields or whatever, getting the meat, bringing it home, she cook it, she provide it to the kids, and she, you know, wash the dishes and all that. That was the role. But the times have changed where the men not getting the jobs, don't want to work, failed become alcoholics, then start beating the woman and make her do everything. You go to work, you bring your money, you know. Mm -mm. So personally, what I've seen is a woman being with a man and for 17 years and he beating on her and put her, she worked uh, for and paid half the bills, but because he was stronger, then he was cheating and beating and doing all this unnecessary stuff and then you have to get to a certain age and start over like who wants to do that like honestly and i think it's so many people online trying to figure it out and i'm not gonna call any names but i think they are telling some of the young girls wrong because the lady was saying oh y'all don't know how to be a woman and this and that and i'm like you really have to sit back and watch people because one, we got a, a society of people who lie a lot. They lie a lot. I've been lied to. And I'll put this situation like seven years ago. Like I have my own house, cars, and everything like that. I'm going to keep saying that. But the guy said something happened to his car. And so I had to drive, right? And at first he was, he was driving for me. And I'm like, okay, he's driving for me or whatever. And... I enjoyed that. We was going to the movies. We was going to dinner. And I'm thinking this dude was a school teacher because I met him at the school, right? The dude ended up saying, well, since I'm going to be over here all the time anyway, can I just pay you? And I'm like, I have extra room. I was like, okay. You know, and then I'm be having fun, fun, fun. And I'm steady watching. You don't lie about the car I broke down. I didn't hear nothing else about the car nothing but see i had an extra car so i let him drive my extra car so i made a mistake you know you learn in your mistakes even though i was like to myself okay so you by yourself so you got too many rules you gotta break your rules down in order to live right so i'm breaking my little rules down and but i'm still paying attention to details 
And I'm like, he ain't said nothing else about that car. Then, <laughs> well, look, what else I want to tell y'all, but I tell you, but anyway, yeah. So then after that, I'm just sitting there paying attention to detail. Ain't nothing this man said coming to fruition. And then want to sit in my house. This is seven years ago now. And the phone ring and it's a girl on the phone, right? And I'm like, this in my house, driving my car, but think he could it, be a man. You can't. <laughs> I'm in control. That's number one. So that was crazy, right? And what else I was going to say? Um, people lie so much. You really don't know what you get. So you have to stand back and just watch people. Watch how things go. I mean, at first it can be fun, but you feel like I'm doing this, I'm doing that. He'll appreciate people don't appreciate nothing. They appreciate taking advantage of people. And that's why I think it's so many women getting uh killed because you were like trying to you you live in trying to figure it out and what I figured out is just mm, just be by yourself for a while and just watch them. You, if the car if the car broke or not working, okay, well call me when when the car running. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be stricter. You put all these rules in place, and then you start breaking your own rules down, and then you find out people just wanna use you and take advantage of you. So I, I don't even know what that's what, what I really wanted to say, but dang it, I said it. <laughs>